So, what we have to do here next is separate these things out. And we're going to tie all of our positives. And you're going to want to make sure you can bunch them together so that they're as close as possible to being even with each other in lengths. And make it neat, right? Make it neat. Neat is a good thing. I mean, hey, if we had the right kind of really skinny thin wire, this would be done a lot more pro looking. But I'm not after a professional look. I'm after some durability and functionality. I'm just going to be thrilled to see <coughs> the taillight's working again. <laughs> yeah, you'd be in your glory. Yeah. And this is going to help distinguish our vehicles, too, because they're going to be different. So if you see blue taillights, that's my truck. You know it. <laughs> yeah. our, our bodies are very close. They're very, they're, very close. They're the same color, just opposite. Yeah. So. Red and black and black and red. I mean, it's like tires tell a whole story. I got the cooler yeah. tires, but. You know, and I got a broken front bumper right now until I fix it, but, you know. This will help. This will definitely help, especially for night video stuff. It will be really awesome. Okay, hey. now these are tied. Put a gob on your Q-tip. Because you're covering a lot there, right? You're covering a lot more. And this one thin little wire, you're covering a bundle. Now on the LEDs you had to be really super careful. You still do because you don't want to overheat the wire. But not as it's not gonna be as quick on the hop to do this. And it does go rather fast. Run the iron back and forth. Because you want to get the solder to go through all that bunch. Make it one solid contact. So if you time it out how long it takes me to do this guys, it's about all the time you need. That was yeah. like boom, done. Yep. <laughs> completely done. So now we have a positive and a negative. And we're gonna have to peel these wires back a bit more. I want more coming out. Which one's which? Nope. No? So how are we going to figure that out? I'm going to show you. Uh -huh. This, boys and girls, is why you need a multimeter. And remember, if you don't know how to do something, it never hurts to ask. At least the first time. So that's why I've asked Kev to help me with the teaching me how to solder and all about wiring for lights and stuff so that I can do this. Yeah, LED bulbs have polarity and the longer lead is always the positive. The positive. Yes. Okay, so how we test for positive and negative kitties. I'm gonna fire up our multimeter here. Back, jump out of the way. Figure out the mess as we go. plug a little single cell lipo in. By the way, get yourself a single cell lipo and a charger for it. And uh, if you don't have one already. Good for testing. It's great for testing out stuff. And so you're going to just take a positive lead off your meter. And you're going to take negative lead. And that says negative 4.8 volts. So, obviously, polarity is wrong. So that means... It's still wrong, so we'll go here. This should be positive. And that's negative. Okay, so we now know positive and negative. So now that we know this one here in my hand is positive, I'm going to tag it. Of 
shrink tube. So I do have little pieces for this. So take a little piece of shrink tube. That's it. So now we know so now the red is the double closed. verify just to make sure you're not half asleep on the job doing this. <laughs> Proper. Okay, so I'll unplug your battery and now you know where the positive is. That's it for that stuff. So back to the bumper. Back to the bumper. Shut this and, off. And yeah. Get that out of the way. Out of the way. So the next thing we want to do is hook up the resistor. Now I haven't tinned this wire yet, so what I want to do is I want to take some of the leg of the resistor as close as I can, and I want to wrap it like a wire. So I want a lot of meat on there. A solid connection. I want it as solid as I can get it. And see, I got a little bit of extra wire sticking out here. So I'm gonna just Nip clip, clip that now. Okay. Now we're gonna tin that into place. You gotta stay away from the resistor thing. Uh, the yes. resistor's not as critical, but because you're right up near the filament, you still want to be reasonably quick with it. That's it for a minute. Now I just got figured how I'm going to do the rest of this. Um, so we will be back. Don't go away. Okay, guys. So I'm going to finish this off because I know how I want it wired. Um, you've got a direction for your bumper, and it sits like this, right? So this would be the top side, and the wire comes out from the chassis onto this side. So this is the side we're going to move everything over to in the end. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up here. Actually, I'm going to have to do it this way, I guess. All right, okay. close there. Now I'm using different colors for the red and the black, but that's what I got. So. Two pieces. So, as we go, all right, I goes to there, and I'm going to want to end up tacking this down in place.
use white for the other one. Before you put your heat shrink tube on too, let it cool for a second or two, because otherwise your tube will start shrinking before you get it over top of the contact. Good pointer. That should be alright. Turns it to the negative on the other side. Yep. You gotta tin that, right? Um, we're getting there, yep. yep. Yeah, I don't have enough twist room, but that's okay. I don't want to take any more off the wire. So I'm going to do this a little differently. Main thing is the solid connection, right? That's the key. Last one. This is again, this is going to go to the positive. So I'm trying to wrap this around. one that's got the resistor on it. Yep. So, squeeze the 
this puppy in place. And you have to figure out which resistor you need with your bulbs. Uh, you, uh, I'll actually show you how to do that. Okay. Did our job right? <laughs> Cross your fingers. Are we doing this again? Yay! Look we, at that guy. Yay! Equal both sides, all working. Now, nice that. bright blue, which means the resistor's working, right? Well, that's why we're now going to go over to the truck. So we're going to shut off the camera for a second, so that she can bring the camera over there, and we'll plug it into the truck and turn the truck on and see if anything cooks. All right, here goes nothing. Yay! Wow, we got blue balls. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah. see them. <laughs> there you go. Oh, sick! Wicked. All right. So, job well done. So now all we got to do is uh, tack down these wires with some hot glue. Make it all neat. Make it all neat. And so they don't get ripped out. Like, oh well, yeah, just you beat the crap out of these trucks. Yes, so. yes. If you're doing things right, you are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna. This is the kind of pattern I'm gonna go with for the wires to push them down in place. Around so the then post. this, yeah, opposite around. Yeah. Kind of like a S thing. Okay, and I'm gonna glue it right in the middle there to tack it down. And I'm going to glue the ends down in here, and uh, then we'll put the bumper back on, rewrap it around the post so it can take the flex from all the torture and hell it goes through, <laughs> and uh, she'll pull off a night reattach video the, whenever. Reattach it, yep. Yeah, so there you go, awesome. guys. That's how she's done in good old Canada. Thanks very much, Kev, for showing me how to solder and how to replace bulbs in your Traxxas oh, summit. Oh, yes, bumper. before we go, i got to show these guys how to uh, test their, for their resistors. So, we're gonna, so yes. don't Whoop. go anywhere, guys. I'm just going to grab some resistors here. I buy what's called assorted packs, uh, but I also have specific resistors for 12-volt applications. And uh, they're good if you've got 12 volts or slightly more. So grab a multimeter, put your multimeter 6 volts, 9 volts, generally 6 volts, because you're usually not putting out much more than 6 out of a receiver. The odd time you do, but uh, on this machine it's just under 6 volts. So uh, you need this, and I need my little adapter plug I had earlier. So a JST connector that can plug into your JST coming out of your your vehicle or whatever kind of connector you have. Every RC is different, but in the in the summit, this is what you're going to need. So uh, I put an alligator clip on each one of my probes. Okay, this way they can stay there and I don't have to screw around too much. And then I take a resistor out of my box, power on on the truck, and then you put the resistor in the other alligator clip and then touch it to the other wire here. And that says it's putting out 4 point, well, sorry, 0.417 uh, of a volt, okay? So that's not enough, obviously. So you go through, you find another resistor. Now we're into the millivolt range. And uh, so we'll grab another one. 5.18 volts. Okay, now if you test just the power coming out of your receiver, you do it like this. And this receiver right now with two fully charged batteries is putting out 5.85, 5.86 volts. Okay, 
Don't worry about the, uh, the battery load test part because that doesn't matter. What matters is what's on the screen here. So now when I take this, I clip it on here, make sure it's solid connected to the clip, hold the wires together firmly, 5.17, 5.18, grab another resistor, that's way out of scale into the millivolts, find another one. And you just keep going through your resistors like this until you find one that knocks back the voltage where you need. So make sure that you know the voltage, maximum voltage level of your LED that you're going to be working with. And then what you want to do is find a resistor that will take the power down enough to meet that voltage. Okay, now like we said at the beginning of this video, what Traxxas does instead of using resistors, okay, in this case, they wired... Uh, six 2.1 volt red light bulbs in series so that's going positive negative positive negative so at the end of the chain okay you're gonna have a positive and a negative so when you put the juice in there yeah it still lights up the bulbs but because it's in series it knocks back the juice to the bulbs okay because parallel voltage the voltage will always stay the same right in in series it alters it now with batteries when you go series in batteries, you increase voltage. In parallel, you keep the voltage the same. But in LEDs, you have an opposite effect. Okay? So if you want really super bright LEDs on the front and back of your vehicle, you need to use a resistor with the power that's coming off of the receiver. That gives you optimal voltage for the bulbs. Okay? Don't go over the voltage they're rated for, but stay either at or just a hair under and your bulbs are still going to last you a long, long time, and they're going to be bright, which is what your goal is. We want bright. Yes, we want bright. <laughs> okay. And the next mod we're doing to her truck after this is going to be her roof rack. We're going to build a roof rack, rack kit. I'm just going to make sure i got enough parts to do it yeah. uh, for connectors and stuff. Going to take uh, these out, lay them up. Yeah, and we're going to do those hopefully as a flasher setup because yeah. she wants uh, red and blue police type flashing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's another video. <laughs> yes, and that is. We are not going to do a how to on that, I don't think. No. Um, actually, yeah, we, we'll do a part one. I'll show you how to drill the holes. Yeah. Okay? But the wiring is going to be the same deal. You're going to need wire, in this case, longer lengths for your, um, your roof rack because you've got to reach the front nose. Um, but I'll show you how to drill out those pods. It's not going to be perfect. It's almost impossible to get them dead center unless you're doing this like uh, on a drill press type of thing, but we're not. We're going to freehand drill through the back side because there's already pod little spots there. So I'm going to try and do them as centered as possible, but you know, when you're do looking at this at night, it doesn't really matter. You don't even notice. Uh, mine weren't perfect and my other buddies weren't perfect, you know. Or you can buy the Traxxas kit. It's only like, what? 12 bucks or 15 bucks or something like that in Canada. Yeah. And it's got really crap wire. Anyways, hasta la vista. See you later. Thanks again, Kev. And uh, stay tuned for the night video because this thing is going to be lighting up the night. And with all <laughs> I that can't wait. With all that snow out there the, today, it's going to be really nice. The snow is going to show, yeah. Especially if it's really still well. snowing. Let's hope it's still snowing. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, why not hit that subscribe button while you're here? Check my channel. And hit the bell, and tick, make the tick so you send the notifications to your inbox. It's totally free, and then you'll know every time I upload a video. And uh, if this video was helpful, please hit the like button and let us know that. And yes... Check out Kevy's RC and Music channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description box of this video. Thanks again. Bye for now.